to another segment of North Okaboos and Nosh with me, Skyla Williamson. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of something different. We're going to be making a lazy man's peach pie with my Nana, who's right over there. And we're just going to be showing you the steps and how to make this peach pie. So let's do this. Uh, first, we're going to melt. The easiest way to do this is to measure all your ingredients and have them right here ready. Or you can hopscotch it and do them a little bit at the time. I like to have everything measured out. We need a cup of flour, a cup of sugar. A cup of flour. And you can do self-rising flour or you can do plain flour. We'll do it the hard way. One cup of flour. Always silk, sift your flour your dry ingredients together. Even if you've already sifted the flour before it went in the container because it helps mix all that stuff together. I always use butter because I love the taste of butter. It calls for two thirds cup. One stick of butter is a half a cup, but that's plenty. Melt it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Mix the milk. Before it's cup milk. Little Mexican vanilla, always vanilla flavor. Gotta bring more. And there's your peaches. Preheat the oven to 350. Thank you. Butter. Put the butter in the bottom. So it coats your little pan. I think probably we won't even need the mixture for this. It says Make a batter of sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, and milk. So, I'm going to put the milk in here first. Milk. You've already sifted all these ingredients together. Mm -hmm. Put the flour in there. Pour them in there. Doesn't require an egg. Instant cleanup. Whisk it together. You had one cup of sugar to... The mixture of butter's melted in the bottom of the pan. You pour your little milk mixture over that. And it looks kind of funky. I know. You think this is going to be hard. And then your peaches, you just kind of got them clumped. They're still half frozen. Throw them in there. The oven is preheating to 350. Ready to put it in the oven. Just finished making the 
making the peach cobbler and it turned out very nicely. Um, this recipe has been in my family for over 50 years and the recipe was a wedding gift of a 50 year anniversary to my grandparents. Comment if you think I should keep doing these types of videos or if you liked the videos before. This is just a little something that was different that I wanted to try out to see if you liked it and I really hope you did. Thanks for watching this segment of Northwick Lucinosh and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!